Okay, everyone, let's go ahead and queue up with uh, part two to the Elemental Shaman. See how we do today. I was unable to film uh, last night after I took the dogs for a walk, so do it this morning. And then I did some changes to my Wild Murloc deck. I think it's uh, helped towards the quest without um, taking away from... Uh, a uh, less aggressive. Okay, so this is a bad start. Obviously, we're not going to get rid. No, I attempted to keep the Jade Lightning against the Druid, but we need a we need an early game. Uh, Fire flies perfect. Hot Spring Guardians perfect. Hex is perfect, especially against the Druid. Druids tend to innervate out big threats early in game. I uh, do not know what kind of druid this is. It could be a ramp druid quest. It could be a jade. It could be a uh, beast. And he didn't play anything turn one. So either he doesn't want to play the quest on turn one. Because you don't really need to play the quest on turn one. It, unless you have no other better option. But uh, he seems to be a very slow start. Maybe he's just a... Didn't have a good deck. Who knows? Alright, so next turn... Let's see, what do we do? Uh, turn three usually doesn't have any kind of requirement for uh, elemental, so we'll just hero power. This doesn't have a thing from below, so unfortunately, um, uh, hero powering doesn't really add a lot of value like most shaman decks before this uh, expansion. Also, elemental druid. Oh, okay, cool. I have that deck, so it's kind of interesting. I'll be showcasing that next. Okay, we're going to just go ahead and ping it to get rid of it. Because I'd rather uh, go for the totem, please. Or my face would be best. Ooh, okay, that's a thing. All right, so he didn't put anything else. Let's go ahead and put this. And that counts as obviously as an elemental. Plus, I get a token, so it'll really help. Hopefully, we'll get um, a good four drop. Our stone shifter would be best. Like I said, shamans tend to do very well against druid, but... Elemental sh Druid might be a lot of... Oh, okay, so he's Jade. He just had that for for the effect. Okay, that's fine. All right, so we have coin, right? We could just do that, but let's go ahead and put out a beefy minion instead. Of course, I could save the coin for... Uh, you know, I'm going to save the coin for that. So let's go ahead and put this. Obviously, we get no value from it, but that's fine. Um... I'm probably gonna save that token. I played one for that. Yeah, well, let's save it because we have we have uh, enough uh, elementals for um, requirements. Because turn five, I'm gonna play the servant. Unless I have to coin out the fire elemental, we'll see. Actually, I probably most likely coin out the fire elemental this turn. So what does he get? Oh, so he's playing some kind of weird mismatch. I kind of like that. I like when people. Do stuff this little bit. Okay, we're definitely going to. Um, oh, so he's a beast druid with jade. All right, so we're definitely going to have to uh, coin out and sacrifice one of our minions to the divine shield. All right, so that's not too bad. Or uh, ooh, actually, if we had the mana, we would obviously do that to get rid of the shield, but we don't. So we're going to do this. Melt away. Whoops. Since he's beast, he might he might use a mark to. I doubt it. We have. Uh, we're gonna do this. Let, 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 let's go face. Reason being is he gets healed, so he's gonna have to hero power into it if he wants to get rid of it. In the next turn, we have uh, ways to deal with that. If I didn't have the healing totem, I probably would have traded. I don't think he'll use his marker shot on a. Wow, this guy's deck. On a, uh, on a, uh, I actually might paint a trade now because it'll get healed. And then we have, we could technically that, but we don't have enough mana. I'd rather, okay, I'd rather, uh, I'd rather, uh, save, uh, alright, of all these, Alakir is really nice. So is this actually for a freeze. And so is that. I'm probably going to do, this be reason being is because I have this next turn, 
This is really nice. I don't know. I like here so good though, right? But this one's a little bit more flexible. Oh, I don't know if that's the best move. And I played that so I could activate that next turn. And he won't be able to uh, hero power that. So we're off to a good start. I don't know. Maybe Alakir is better because Alakir has a divine shield. So it's the same thing as a three damage prong from the element. The only thing is the element. No, I think Alakir was better. I should have re rethought that. Because Alakir could trade in three, and then he has could go three to face. Next turn, if he doesn't have an answer for him, he could continue doing damage to face. So yeah, I think Alakir is a better uh, better option. All right, so that's a two-two. Uh, he has that. That's fine. We're gonna ping this. Uh, are we going to trade? Or are we going to? Well, actually, we're going to. This is five damage, right? We're gonna do this. Consume you. We'll trade. Uh, with Jade, you have to be aggressive about their board, so we're going to trade. We don't want to leave stuff on there because we're just a steamroll. And we got a really good minion, plus we have uh, some good options on in our hand. So I don't, I don't know what this guy's deck is. It's part beast part elemental i think he just had the elemental to throw people off maybe or or it's but that it's death rattle is not that bad three damage is just too bad it's random all right we definitely gotta hex that that'll be a big tempo play all right so he didn't uh shuffle so he's out of jade so he won't be able to go infinite unfortunately we don't have enough to mana to uh uh, okay, ooh, that's actually pretty good. We could don't have enough mana, so we have to hex this. So I didn't play a um, what is it called? So that's unfortunate. So what we're gonna do is do this. I'll take the face damage. Um, we don't have another hex, and card draw is kind of a problem. And I didn't play a, a uh, elemental, so hopefully we won't need, won't be an issue. Uh, most likely we'll play the fire elemental anyways. We've got a good board, good damage. Swipe, okay, that's okay. Man, I tell you, card draw is really slowed down for, um, let's see, I, I'm going to start playing that card. I really think it'll be good, especially if you get... Okay, that's not great. I'm gonna obviously have to take face damage. I would, uh, too bad it's four health. You could ping it. Oh, actually, cool. Hold on. You know what? Good. Oh, actually, that's really, really good. I'm gonna do this for the death rattle. I'm gonna save my charge weapon, even though I have lethal on board. You know what? Um. Uh, to get another minion on board, I think, would be very nice. Okay, let's do it. Just in case he has weapon removal. And we'll put him in more range of lethal. More than lethal on board. Okay. Oh, wow. This guy has an interesting deck. So, he's probably a free-to-play player that just puts in stuff that he has. To, uh... Wow, well, that's, that's kind of... I kind of wish... I, this card's actually not that bad. People don't play it a lot, but uh, it, it's not bad. It's good, especially for token. All right, thank you. All right, so no BM, just go face. Well done. Oh, why? Well, thinking about it earlier, I said the Murloc. Let's show you the changes I did, and I hope. Um, I hope. Um, the changes work out. I, I, I got rid of the Tunnel Trog and Totem Golem package. Yes, that's awesome, but uh, I think this setup's a little bit better for a couple reasons. One, I put the Primal Fin Totem, which is actually not too, too bad because it generates value. Obviously, turn two, you get a Murloc. Uh, it's excellent for um, Primal Fin Look out if you have it next turn, because so, most times they're going to remove only the totem. Maybe in your Murloc, 
increases the chances. And these guys, calling the finishers, are just too good for the quest. And they're really good to get on board. Uh, especially if you get your any fin is awesome. You could get this dirt cheap. So I think the changes are pretty good. But anyways, I'm going to end it there, guys. Uh, I need to take care of a few things. But uh, I will definitely play more Elemental Shaman. I'll probably do... Uh, just let's do a quick refresh. The Elemental Mage next. And... Um, I really look forward to this. And I was thinking last night that maybe two Molten Reflections a little bit greedy. But we will see. Uh, some changes. Maybe Poly out of there. It, it depends. I love Poly more because it's hard removal. But maybe we're not going to need it. We'll fine tune it see how it goes. And we'll see how he works out. He might actually work out really good in the Shaman too. Eh, maybe not. I don't know. Shaman has some other tools. But yeah. It looks like the Elemental Mage will be a lot of fun. And then uh, the Elemental Druid should be good. Um, these shards are, I think are going to be the v most valuable player because it just buys you time and uh, yeah the curve's good he's not an elemental obviously but he's good for backup taunts you got some good amount of taunts in here you got a huge late game threat plus your card draw so who, who knows we'll see anyways I hope you enjoy that we'll definitely be doing more I just need to do one little quick game for you and then uh, we're definitely going to start showcasing a lot more of this I got to start grinding Stuff, ranks, and whatnot. So hopefully we do good this season. Okay, guys. Bye.